Aaron, you there? John, I'm here. What's on the agenda for today, my fair lady? Hmm, not sure. I was about to see what's available. All right, take your time. I haven't docked to the station yet. Copy that. John, come in. There's not much to pick from. The only available mission is to inspect some unknown ship near the Cassiopeia constellation. Hmm. Oh well. Guess it's a slow day. You can head to the docks when you're done. I'm docked at gate 24. Roger that. I'll be on my way. John, what do you think we'll find on board that ship? Uh, I have no clue. Your guess is as good as mine. I mean, we literally know nothing about it. All I can gather from the reports that it has to be old. I mean, no recent ships have been reported missing from this region. You know, maybe it's a pioneering vessel. It got lost or broke down. That would be amazing. It would. But it's a long shot. There's still numerous ships out there that haven't been recovered. Ships that we even we don't know about.
good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is your captain speaking. Uh, we're gaily crossing the Cassia Pier constellation and we'll be reaching our destination shortly. I hope you've enjoyed your flight with us today. If you look out to your left, you'll see space. If you look out to the right of the plane, you'll also see space. Uh, Very funny, John. I know, I know. I crack you up. But yeah, we're getting close. You can stroll around for a bit before we reach there. I'll contact you when we do. <laughs> All right. Thanks. I'm here. What's up? One of the power conductors just shut down. Again? Yeah, again. You'll have to fix this one manually, so I need you to take the elevator down to deck two and suit up. You will have to use your object scanner for this one. Is it bad? Don't worry, it's no biggie. But if we don't attend to it now, things will get hot and steamy in here if you catch my drift. In your dreams, Mr. Smarty Pants. Oh, snap. But I'm not kidding. If we don't fix it, it will both get burned. Literally. Got my data pad with me. Heading down to the pressure suit locker now. Roger. By the way, you can now press Q to check your objectives. Uh, yeah. I know that. Uh, good. I'll open the elevator door for you and update you once you're there. Copy that. John, I'm on deck two. Heading to the pressure suit locker now. Copy that. I'm at the locker. Aaron? I need you to run a system check and make sure the object scanner is calibrated properly. You can toggle the object scanner on and off by pressing the R key. Unless you customize your key bindings again. Great, it's working. The object scanner detects objects that are interfacing with the ship. John? Now, if you look to the door panel next to the locker, it should light up. Note that if you try to run while the scanner is activated, it will turn itself off. John? If you press F, however, you can toggle your regular flashlight on and off. John? You can also zoom in and out by holding down the Z key. This can be useful if you need to identify objects at a distance. John? Why are you telling me things I already know? Ah. Uh -huh. Anyway, could you open the elevator door for me, please? Roger that. Oh man, 
I really hate it down here. This place always creeps me out. You'll be fine. Just head towards the cargo bay. John, come in. I'm here. Okay, this should be a piece of cake. If you look around the room, you should be able to spot four conductor panels that are lined up in a row. One of them is not receiving any power. This is where you'll need to use your object scanner. Press R to activate it, and you should be able to detect which panel is not receiving any power. Okay, I think I see it. Excellent. Okay, now listen up. There's a console located in the center of the four panels. You need to reroute the correct conductor panel to it in order to be able to restart the system and remove any built-up heat. You need to press the button below the correct conductor panel. I'll go ahead and unlock the console for you now. Okay, let me see here... John, this is not a little bit of steam buildup. No, oh, sorry, sorry. Keep calm. Turn on your object scanner and press T to switch to your vision scanner. Oh, oh. Okay. Now, you should be able to make your way to the other end of the deck. You can reset the entire ventilation system from there and drain all the excess steam. Thank you. On my way. I'm at the engine room, John. Great. There's another console panel all the way at the back of the room. Done and done. Sweet. Crisis diverted. All right, Aaron. I guess we had to keep our clothes on a little while longer. <laughs> You pervert. Do you know me? Anyway, please head up to the bridge now, and meet me back in the cockpit. We're pretty much there. Roger that. I'm heading up to the bridge. Just in time, Aaron. How close are we? About two minutes away. Since you're here, I'm engaging all safety protocols. All doors to the cockpit are locked. And setting final approach vector. 
You can monitor the final approach at your station, Aaron. I've set up a live feed. Thanks. Hey, John. Do you remember our first job? You were so off from its coordinates. Oh, we spent hours looking for it. And you forgot to calibrate the main vector antenna. Good times. Indeed. It was fun. Well, there she is. Hmm. It's not that large. I've been able to connect directly to the black box, and I'm running further scans on the ship. Hmm. The designation is SD-01. That's a pretty unconventional designation for a ship. Nah, it usually means it's privately owned. Anything else? Well, let me take a look. Oh man, this is really something. I'm running a database check, but I'm not finding any references. On top of that, I've never seen a model like this before. Oh, and here you are, always boasting about how you aced ship design history in uni and how you can identify each and every ship out there. Every single known ship out there, that is. But yeah, that's what's blowing my mind right now. This definitely must be a privately owned ship. I can get no references to who it belonged to or how old it is. Well, I wonder who the owner is and what it's doing all the way out here. Why has no one reported it? I don't know. The only conclusion I can come up with is that they didn't want it to be found. What would make a company go so far to sacrifice a whole crew like this? I wish I knew, man. Whatever it is, it must be one hell of a reason. Do you still want to go ahead? Oh, yeah. She looks old. It does. Judging by the way it's built, it could be around 50 years or more old. Hold on, I'm getting more readings. I'm not detecting any life signs on board. Uh, no movement either. Ship's integrity seems fine, though. And it looks like life support is still operational. Hold on. I can interface with the ship's system, but most of it's offline. It seems like it's running on backup power. You'll have to see for yourself if you're able to restore power to, well, anything you can. I just want to know what happened to its crew and what it's doing all the way out here. Judging from the ship's design, this is just a dropship. It's not big enough for a prolonged stay in deep space like this. And that means... That means there's another ship out there somewhere. Could it be? Now, don't get your hopes up. Just focus on the job at hand, all right, pretty lady? <laughs> Docking procedure engaged. Hold on. Understood, John. I'm heading down to the airlock. Copy that. Disengaging safety protocols. You're good to go. Copy that. Let's see what other stories she has to tell. I'm at the airlock. Copy that. The console on your right should be operational now. You can depressurize the airlock. 
I'm opening the first door. Copy that. Here goes nothing. <laughs> <laughs> 